Hello everyone, welcome to our signature segment, See the Stories on the Two Hour News Show. Now since Muslims around the world, including me and Aris here, are observing the holy month of Ramadan, this moment is a special time for a reflection, self-improvement, kindness, spirituality and fasting is one of the key pillars of the holy month. Yes, of course, Anya. But oh. did you know that fasting mm -hmm. has also having so many benefits? Let's take a look. Mm. So, aside from the religious obligations upon the Muslims during the holy month of Ramadan, fasting has countless health benefits. Mm. So, from improved weight management, I can say that true, and also healthier blood cell regeneration, to better heart function and also vascular well-being, fasting has become quite the go-to method of keeping young, fit, and also healthy. Mm. And not only that, fasting also can balance the mind and reducing mental stress, improved cardiovascular function, as well as boosting our immune system. Wow, it says it's reducing mental stress. Mental stress. We're usually, yeah, you because know, we, maybe because we're hungry, so we tend to be more calm. I don't know. It's for I me personally, so. <laughs> and of course, yeah. that fact's really interesting and. To explain that more, we will delve into that about fasting that can boost our immune system. Is yeah. molecular bi biologist Riza Arif Putranto that already joined with us. Thank you very much, Mas Welcome. Riza. Already Thank come you. with Thank us. Thank you for having me. Of yeah, course. it's a pleasure and it's an honor as well. As I mentioned in the beginning, um, our friends, including myself, we're not feeling well at the moment, yeah. Yeah. and we are fasting. Uh, but we want to talk about how fasting can actually boost our immunity, right? Yeah. So perhaps from from your standpoint, uh, from a molecular biologist standpoint, how does fasting affect our immune system? What is actually happening inside our body, inside our uh, maybe in our cells? Does it regenerate faster than usual if we're fasting? Because is it, it doesn't use other the, uh, the yeah. cancer cell. Is yep. the, uh, well, the, it's it eaten by the good cells. Yeah, there is many, many uh, aspects when you want to talk about uh, fasting benefit mm. to our body. Yeah. But maybe I need to explain a little bit about the basic, what, what is happening actually yeah. inside, inside our body. Our body yeah. So, uh, as you can imagine, our body consists of uh, trillions of cells. Yes. Right? Okay. So, uh, maybe you can, we, make, we can make an analogy that our body is a car. Okay. From okay. time to time, our car mm. needs to be having its maintenance. Like right? repairing. Repairing, yeah. yeah. In a car workshop. Mm. So when you have your car stopped and it's not moving so fast, mm. the technician can check Which what part? is wrong in yeah. with your car. Mm -hmm. So that is the analogy. Our body, every single day we eat something. Uh, our digestive system always working. Mm. Blood line always working. Blood system always working. Our heart, cardio, etc. At the at the tam, uh, some of the time, we need to stop the body stop, so they can see better what is happening inside the cell, those tiny mm. cells. So when they see that, they found uh, actually the mechanism is, is uh, discovered in 1962 okay. and in continued in 1990 by two uh, scientists. The first one is Christian de Duve, is a Belgian scientist, mm -hmm. having its Nobel in 1974. And then continued by uh, the Japanese scientist Yoshinomi Oksumi in 1990, got its Nobel in 2016. Right. The first one uh, make the definition of what we call autophagy. Okay. Auto is itself, phagy is eating. So actually, the cell eating itself. Okay. What is meant by that? What like I said, the analogy is a car. Mm. The car has the technician to check for all of the uh, part, your spare part in the car. So what we call autophagy is actually that the cell develop a technician, mm. what we call autophagosome. Okay. It's like a safety blanket mm. that goes around the cells and checking for all organelles. You know, in our cell, inside our cells, there are many organelles like mitochondria, nucleus, cytoplasm, etc. that it needs to be repaired. When the cell is moving so fast, working every single minutes or day, mm. you cannot see what is happening, you cannot see what is broken. That's but when you stop a little bit, yeah. it's like when you're driving a car yeah. in a, in a, free, in a high, high tall freeway, oh, yeah. in a hundred miles an hour, you cannot see all the trees that going moving forward. Hmm. But when you 
slowing down a little bit, 14 miles an hour, you can see, ah, those three, that three, I saw a guy, I saw a car. Mm -hmm. Actually, that is an analogy of what is happening inside our body. Okay. So you're saying that when we are fasting, some yeah. of our cells that are not doing very well will be eaten by the other cells? Yeah. Or how is it? Will be repaired. Will be repaired. Repair. So our body working in two types of uh, reparation. The first one, try to repair it first. Okay. But if you cannot repair it, it will defy. Create new cells. Ah, nice. You know, it's like uh, you having a cloth. Mm. If you can repair it, why not? Yeah. So you can use it for a long, as long as you can. Mm -hmm. But if the cloth is not, you cannot use it anymore, you need to throw it away and you buy it again. But you create a waste. Mm -hmm. So in our body, they try to work as balanced as it can. Okay. So first, it needs to be repaired first and then... So is this the same as when you said uh, there is a waste yeah. when there are some unused cells and it, is needs, it needs to be you know, thrown away, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So is it correct, your term, when yes, you say about when we're the fasting... Cell we're, that when we're fasting, the cancer cells yeah. is being tackled. Or no, it, be yeah, it's more like when we're fasting, we are actually detoxing our body. Oh yeah, detoxification. Yes. So, uh, there is many, many ways when mm. w what is happening inside our cells. But the first things that uh, we can look very easily inside yeah. a fasting body is that there is a huge change in the blood system. You know, we have red blood cells, mm -hmm. we have white blood cells, including in our immune system. So the red blood cells carry a lot of oxygen that it needed in every single part in our body. Yeah. The white blood cells work as an immune system. When we are fasting, mm -hmm. they get regenerated. Right. This one cell mm -hmm. regenerated and then they, it's like you're creating a new uh, army it's of, okay. of it's immune very, system. Yeah. Nice. And then your body is slowing down, right? The yeah. metabolism is slowing down, yeah. the rate of blood glucose is going down. Mm. And then the immune system working around your body and looking at that. We have a virus there, we have a bacteria there. Over there, we have a broken mm. cells. Mm. Let's eat it. Okay. Let's clean it. Mm. That can happen when your body, the metabolism of your body is slowing down. Okay. It cannot happen when you eat a lot, moving a lot. Mm -hmm. Because in a fasting months, normally we don't do many as many, as many physical as, activities, yeah, physical activity That's as well right. as uh, digestive, uh, digestive activity. That's ah. correct. Yeah. And as far as I know, mm -hmm. during holy month of Ramadan, we did a dry fast. Yeah. Uh, so there's also dry and also a wet fast, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Correct yeah, me if yeah. I'm wrong. And is there uh, is there uh, any types of fasting have a beneficial, equally beneficial immune system? Well, actually, in point of view of molecular biology, autophagy will be started after you have a fasting for 12 hours. 12 hours? On the first day. Yes. Only on the first on the day. First day. Mm. On the first day. On the first day. It's like the, the key of autophagy is not having a long as possible fasting. Mm. Oh. For example, you can fast from 12 hours to 140 hours. That's right. Yeah. Non-stop. No, eat, no eating, no drinking. Really? Is it yeah. possible? It's possible. As you wow. It's possible. Yeah. But the problem is, the capability of each individual, us, mm. are different. it's different, it's not, it's not the same. So the key is not to having a longer fasting as possible, mm -hmm. but to give it a frequent fasting, for so example. Fast. So Ramadan is actually Ramadan a is perfect actually, timing yeah. to do that. Ramadan is actually a training time for our body to clean itself. Okay, but is it enough to do it like only once a year? Like Ramadan is only once in every lunar Ramadan. You know, cycle, right? You, you can continue as you like. But the most important thing is to check that also with the medical profession. Mm -hmm. Because if not, you will have a lot of problems uh, mm. with uh, your health. Because fasting, doing it in, an, in the right amount will give you a huge benefit for your health. Okay. But doing it too much, mm. if it, it will reduce many, many also benefits in your health. For example, your muscle mass will be going will be reduced very fast. Uh, yeah. Very fast, yeah. I felt that yeah. because See? during this holiday month of Ramadan, mm -hmm. I uh, continued to uh, going to the gym to do workout, but still fasting. Yeah. And I lose like weight, like almost three kilos in wow. two weeks. Yeah, because your body entering this, the, the, another mechanism of generating energy, what we call ketosis. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not ketosis. using glucose anymore, it's using ketone. 
So, can you tell the difference since yeah. you mentioned about this diet type oh, yeah. ketosis? But we want to continue uh, talking about fasting, right? So, what's the difference between fasting, like in the Ramadan month, and the intermittent fasting that a lot of people are actually observing as well? Yeah, because actually, why Ramadan month is very special? Because everybody, mm -hmm. especially Muslims, realized it that it will come. Mm -hmm. Like, Marhaban ya Ramadan. It oh, will so, come. They, they prepare. So, for they it. prepare physically mm. and mentally. Ah, yeah. yeah. So that is, I think, the most important thing to do before you start fasting. What is your goal mm. to fasting? Every Muslim knows, this month I will fast for at least four weeks. And then I will, I will gain much benefit from that. Mm -hmm. But if you do intermittent fasting, because intermittent fasting and Ramadan fasting is actually almost similar. Mm -hmm. mm. Because it's, it's count 16-8. Right. 16 hour or 14 or 16 hour of fasting and then 8 hours of uh, window to eat. In Ramadan we have around 13 uh, hours. Around 14 and yeah. yeah. 13 to 14 hours to mm -hmm. 8. Mm -hmm. So actually it's, it's the same. Yeah. But the key is to do it frequently. Right. You can do intermittent fasting but you do it only one day and then the next day you do have a normal activity of eating. Mm. Yeah. I think the benefit will not be much significant rather than you do Ramadan for a whole month. Right, right. Wow, okay. So what about your question? So his question about cancer. Yeah, um, the cancer yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, the cancer thing. Actually, in our body, every single day, we fight for a pre-cancer cells. Mm. Pre-cancer cells. Yeah. So it's not cancer yet. Yeah, it's pre-cancer cells. Okay. Because we have it in our body. Yeah, we have, we it, have it. Because we eat a lot of uh, maybe junk food. Really? Yeah, maybe very dangerous things. So we already have it. Pre-cancer? Yeah. Okay. But every single day, our body have this immune system that working 24-7 mm -hmm. trying to protect us okay okay so it's eating the precancer cells so you can imagine fasting is helping the immune system to recognize it better and faster why because our body slow down mm -hmm. okay. it slows down the metabolism mm. so you can see for example if i'm a immune system i'm walking around i can see oh it's over there mm. let's do it let's let's clean this cell up they will eat it. One uh, cell immune system that knowing having this activity is called the T cell cytotoxicity, mm -hmm. because it's work moving around the, the yeah moving around the body and cleaning the cancer cells. Mm -hmm. But also in the recent study in 2025, we know that uh, medicine and also fasting can be combined. So the patients of cancer, having already cancer in, in, in his or her body, mm -hmm. having also fasting for at least 12 to 24 hours under the supervision of the, the medical doctors. Mm -hmm. It can improve also the treatment of cancer like uh, chemotherapy, etc. Okay. So actually fasting is helping yeah. our body to, to create a better defense. Yeah, and also nothing that is given to the food of the precancer cells. Yep. So it's also fasting, right? Okay. While it's being, yeah. Yeah, that's right. And what? also how about uh, the body response? Oh, especially to infection, just like what Alia had. Yeah. I mean, fa fasting. Is that any good benefit? Yeah, I will come back again to the analogy because the analogy can explain better. The car. The car. Yeah. yeah. And our body is slowing down, mm. right? Oh. Slowing down. The immune system getting better, mm. right? The first step. The second step is that the glucose level in our body is decreasing. Lower. Our, the bad bacteria, bad viruses, and all pathogens inside our body needs glucose to survive. Glucose? Mm. Okay. Yeah. They need glucose to survive. Yep. One of the type of the energy that they need it. Mm. So when you have less glucose, they also, the activity is also less uh, mobile or maybe active. less active. Less yeah. active. Yeah. Okay. And then the human system can recognize them easily, eat them and clean, clean them much faster than when you are having a full activity. Hmm. And the other part is that 95% of our immune system is found in our gut. gut. Hmm. Hmm. So fasting helps you to clean the bad bacteria that are also inside our gut and increasing the possibility of a connection between the good bacteria and our immune system. Mm -hmm. So it's creating a better also defense hmm. in our right. immune system. For example, when I'm not fasting, every single day I feel really easily get tired. Mm. But when I'm fasting, I'm not anymore. It's, it's kind of weird because mm. I have less sleep, but yeah. I feel much, much better rather than when you have a, 
and when you're Normal eating. daily life. But can you add, like, what kind of food, let's say, to add to this immune system in our body to be better when we're fasting and then we're, when we're breaking our fast with iftar and later on with sahur? What types of food is good to increase our immune system yeah. during fasting month? As long as that uh, type of food is not uh, too many sugar, or not, too many sugar. Not, or too many sugar. not too many. Not too many. You need it. Ah. You need it. When you break the fast, mm. you have your glucose level is. Uh, really so we need the dates low. and all yeah. that. The cola. Break it up. Yeah. Cola. Dates. Kurma. But uh, yeah. I cannot recommend you eat a lot of that. But you eat mm. enough of that. For example, uh, like a date palm, you eat only three. And no additional chandol, no additional <laughs> yeah. only the because, because it's, it's, it's like and all that. Yeah, because your digestive system is in need of uh, preparation to yeah, adjust. Ah, okay. So you to warming to adapt, up. Yeah, to warming up. Hmm. Uh, sometimes in Indonesia we break our fast with gorengan. We eat yeah. the whole world. Yeah, I will say okay, gorengan, but what if, don't eat it one ton of gorengan or fifty kilo of gorengan. It's very dangerous. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. for me personally, I prefer to take a. Uh, my, the main course first yeah, for, yeah i oh. will go when it's i you go straight to the main straight course. to the main wow. course because i will do so many things after the yeah. maghrib so i think it will be more efficient is it a recommend or it's a yeah you need to go it slow go you need to do slow. it slow yeah because uh, your digestive system is not having its nutrition for a whole day yeah you need, you need to be able to move it slowly oh. because if not you will have a pain in stomach and etc. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Riza Arif Putranto, Welcome. molecular biologist. Very insightful tips as well as knowledge about fasting in our immune system. So it is indeed, don't miss your sahur, but also don't miss your fasting every and day. And also, mm. one of the important things, you it? are what you eat. You are what you eat. You are what you eat. Is it right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Because when you have you sugar rush. You are what you eat and you are what you absorb. You oh, are what you okay. can eat a lot of things, but uh, your body may be not absorbing it. Ah, okay. <laughs> eating and absorbing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Welcome. It's nice to be here. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Mm. Okay. It's really good addition yeah. of. You know, when you have sugar rush, it's actually everything in your gut having a sugar rush. That's why you're like. Mm, I don't everywhere. really like sugar. So. Ah, oh, that's good for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's where the signature segment of See the Stories. We are going for another break. Yes, and after the break, we'll bring you more updates from Indonesia and around the world. So keep it right here on the Two Hour News Show.